Doctor, if a semen analysis report shows teratospermia, what does it mean? In a semen analysis report, sometimes you find a word called teratospermia. What we essentially mean is the quality of the semen, which is also known as technically morphological assessment of the sperm, is abnormal. When the abnormality crosses a particular threshold, which is defined by WHO, then we say a technical word, tetrajuspermia. A sperm has three components, the head, the neck, and the tail, and it's one of the smallest cells in the body, and it's the only cell which is exposed to different pH, different external environment, as it travels from the male body into the female body to meet the egg. So it needs a robust quality egg sperm to reach the point of the egg in the fallopian tube and fertilize the egg. In the sperm abnormalities, we can have different types of abnormalities. One is, there can be abnormality at the tip called acrosomal abnormality, which can be small, or absent, or we can have the whole sperm head abnormality in which we say a macrospermia or a pyriform or amorphous forms. The second part of the sperm is the neck which contains the energy pack that is a mitochondria that drives the sperm movement and it is called the energy pack of the sperm. The type of neck abnormalities can be a short neck, a bent neck, or an irregular neck, which can affect the ability of the sperm to swim efficiently and thereby delay the pregnancy and produce infertility. The third part is the tail abnormality, which can be absence of tail, short tail, coil tails, sometimes the coil tail is also known as head in quality. Quality assessment of sperm is known as morphological assessment of the sperm, which involves counting the head, the neck, the tail abnormalities of the total sperm that are present. The World Health Organization has standardized the seminal assessment by a series of manuals which they produce every five, eight to 10 years, and it is called the WHO manual. And the cutoff level for abnormal forms is 4%. This is the lowest level, and if somebody has the number of abnormal forms more than 96, or normal forms less than four, they need further evaluation in terms of health, infection screen, genetic screen, and the DNA packing. Let's come to the DNA packing. The DNA fragmentation tests and other sperm function tests are needed to understand why there's a tetraspermia, whether the genetic packing of the sperm is abnormal. A lot of times, tetraspermia is underdiagnosed or misdiagnosed or incompletely diagnosed problem. And a lot of these people with tetraspermia are labeled as unexplained infertility. If more attention is given to sperm morphology as recommended by WHO in the last 20 years, the instance of unexplained infertility might significantly decrease. This tetraspermia can give pregnancies but may not give in a given time frame of time. The treatment modalities of tetraspermia or severe morphologically abnormalities depend on the severity of the problem, the coexisting health conditions, and also the quality of the lab which does the assessment. So in other words, tetraspermia is often a missed unrepresented, underappreciated factor in causing the delay in conception, which is primarily in the man.